recording and all those other good things. Okay. Good morning, Ryan. Morning, Walter. Uh, there we go. When you leaned in, you got the sunshine on the lower part of your face, which makes it very unusual. Yeah, ah, ah. there you are. I mean, right, Bill. I, right. can, I can do that too. <laughs> You're far more handsome than I am. Um, I, it's a good thing we got some of these young fellows in here. Yeah, right, right. Wherever they are. I have to, I have to, uh, talking about young fellows, I have to step out around eight o'clock just as the meeting's beginning. I'll get back on again. I really, really pull it. I think the damage to my back. I have to talk to our doctor at eight. Stupidly, I mean, I've been having back problems, but I felt great. So I decided to go kayaking. Was that a dumb idea? <laughs> I'm terrible. Were, were you guys mystified that aside from the obit in, uh, in the Concord Journal that Nancy had no obit anywhere and only about eight people in the world read the Concord Journal? That's an interesting- She had a, a, a great big obit. Yeah. yeah, but who reads it? I mean, yeah. shouldn't she have been in the Boston Globe? I don't- I You're right. Know. You're right. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, we ought to send it off to the Boston Globe. Yeah. You see the funeral director doesn't. Yeah, actually, I don't know who-, who It the, was uh, D. It was a D funeral D? Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised too. I don't know what they were thinking. Huh. Not that they were thinking that they weren't thinking. That's that's correct. Yeah. Right. So anyway, D you D manages the Catholics very well, but you know, and Nancy was a Unitarian. That's right. That's so, right. It's uh and his their son, uh you Walter, you might know this. There's their son, our son-in-law, and uh and and his and Nancy's daughter uh, are Episcopalian. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, they were oh, actually. Well, that now. What is their name? Do you know? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mon Montgomery. But they're not. They're not here in Concord. They're in um, in Newton. Oh, different so, brand of Episcopalian. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is a real ecumenical uh, family. What do we say? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I had gone over to visit um, Nancy before she passed away. You probably know this too. Maybe it was in the obit. I don't remember. But David Montgomery, her her, her uh, son-in-law, was playing a cello for her as she was. Well, there was also a woman came in with a violin. So yes, uh, that's also true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We couldn't provide anything. Uh, I know. Musical, but. Uh, I don't know, you know, if I drop dead in the middle of the Zoom, uh, that's probably a great way to go. <laughs> well, that's what Cheryl Munch, the old conductor of the Boston Symphony, was, uh, he now left the BSO and he was conducting, I think, in, in Virginia. And he reached into the uh, first violin, said, you know, get a something or other, and just kept falling and was dead. <laughs> and I thought, boy, for a conductor, that's the way to go. Well, uh, Lots of people fully intend to go to heaven, but nobody seems to be in a hurry. I don't no, know. No, no. That's for sure. Oh, bing bong, doorbell. Okay, good. Well, you know what I'll do if this helps? Uh, I'll. I'll I'll put up on mute and on um, and a video block, but I'll be listening. Okay. Okay. Um, I had to call. I had to call my doctor's office. I just have to do that. I, I, we agreed at eight a.m. Okay. Well, you go take care of yourself. All right. I'll be back. Excuse me. I'm supposed Morning, to get Brian. in before I sneeze, but Morning. then. Bless you. Anna, morning. Okay, so actually, before we get started, um, we should, I should uh, get somebody to volunteer to take the minutes for this meeting. Bless you, Ray. Sorry? I was sneezing. There was a All bless right. you. Yeah, I don't think you want me to take them. Ferran, are you willing to be 
secretary pro tem for today. Mm. Maybe. Uh, is there anything specific or special about minutes that like they need to be taken in a certain way or anything like that? We just need to note actions taken properly. Yeah. Who, who's, who's there and and uh, whatever actions we take, that's all that really matters. <laughs> Brianna, this is this is not anything to do with women always getting the secretarial job. It's just because your youth implies that you'll actually remember what we did. I, you're putting a lot of faith in my memory. <laughs> well, it's better than mine. That's I have to. I keep asking Susan, could you remind me of your name, please? We've been married sixty years. These meetings are recorded, which always makes me wonder. I mean. I mean and in, 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 in principle, we don't have to the to the reporters. That would surely help with the minutes. Um, just I, I have not been funding the, the recent meetings. So I, I mean, the last time I was a recent meeting on, on, on YouTube, I didn't find it. David, your sound is for yeah. me garbled. Oh. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Walter. I was like, I, I don't think I can take said. minutes if I can hear anything that's going it's, on. It's very hard to understand you, Dennis. Yeah, give me give me a minute. I'm going to try to see if I can um, fix that. It was like um, an echo, but like a yeah. quick echo. Yeah. All right. Let me see. When things like that go wrong, I just assume I had done something wrong. I'm glad others couldn't hear. Aha! Uh -huh. A new gadget. Okay, is that any better? Oh, yes. Yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, okay, so one thing, uh, all right, so let's, let's call the order then. Um, I, and I thought actually before we got in the meeting, went on to the uh, next item on the agenda, um, we might wanna take a, a, a minute to remember Nancy, uh, just in silence. Um, so we'll start that now. Uh, so, okay, so the, um, well, it's, it's, it's going to be very different without her. Um, I know I didn't make it to the last meeting, but I actually was able to get coffee with Nancy um, from the meeting that I had before, and Ryan, I got to see her cool um, uh, pamphlet with uh, your example of Right, the Halloween and um, like the neighbors for Halloween, the original uh, local option income tax uh, brochure pamphlet thing that you had made. So that was that was nice. Okay, so um, 
Well, if we're ready now, um, I think we can. Uh, of course, Bill is Bill, who wrote the minutes, is is well. Is, is, oh, is back. Um, so, uh, I think we can uh, uh, consider the minutes from um, March eighteenth. Okay. Oh, uh, Bill, I really liked your minutes, and now that you're back, <laughs> I'm going to ask if you want to do today's minutes. <laughs> very, very well, smart. I understand what you're doing to me here. For uh, honor, well done. I did. I went through it because I missed the meeting and I felt like I knew exactly what had happened. Well, you know what? The real truth is it was David's notes because I hadn't taken any notes for that meeting um, that I used. But I know, okay, I'll, I'll do it this time uh, if you want me to do it. Okay. Yeah. If, if, if we're continuing after... Um, you know, if for, for another year, we're going to have to have a um, official clerk. We're going to have to, the, the clerk is actually an elected position, which um, I did not realize until Nancy herself uh, looked it up um, fairly recently. And, um, and so we, we have not actually been, uh, we have not actually been doing our, 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 uh, We've not been, we have not been, we, we we're supposed to rotate these positions actually. And we have not been doing that according to the, to the usual procedure. Um, Nancy was so good at her job, but. David, um, I, I, David I'm just gonna ask this question. I, I'm, I've been on other town committees. I don't remember having to elect somebody to, to take, you know, to be a clerk. Um, it's, 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 it's in this meetings, it's in this committee's charter for some, for wow, some reason. I know, yeah, I, 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 I I had the same experience as well. It, 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 it seemed, I don't know if it's unique to this committee or, or just, a, or just, or only a few committees or what, but, but it's, it's, it's actually, it's actually, I, I, I was surprised if it's actually written that way. Okay. Um, anyway, but I, but I thought we would, uh, we would not do that. I, I thought we would do that after town meeting rather than before. All right. So for now, it, it would, so now we'll just get along with, with, with uh, something temporary each, each meeting. Okay, so we have, we, have, we have Bill's minutes from March 18th. Um, any comments? Okay, I, I, I move their acceptance. Okay. Oh, I'll wonderful. Click on the... Okay. Um, and note how much for Anna like my minutes. That should that should be in there too. Yeah. No, <laughs> like I, I didn't know if I should repeat it again after you asked. I thought they were good. Yeah. Okay. I think we should say that uh, approval of the minutes with enthusiasm means that the writer has to become a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Um, Oh gosh, uh, are we still yeah. Let's do the let's do the roll call thing again, just because we're on Zoom. Um, Walter, yes, aye. Okay, I'm an aye. Uh, Ryan, aye. Jay, aye. Tarana, uh, no. Can I vote? I wasn't here. You can choose to vote either at whichever way you want, oh. including. Well, I like vote. them, so I. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> and Bill, yes, yeah, I. Okay, so the minutes are accepted. Uh, we can move along to the preparations for town meeting. And uh, okay, so our our motion is in. I uh, I haven't heard anything on the legislative front. I don't know if anybody else has. Um, I think we probably would have heard something if, if I mean, I mean, we've got people at townhouse tracking what five or six um, home rule petitions, including ours. So I um, I met one, I met a uh, representative of Tammy Guvia at the parade, who was getting us to sign her petition to run for lieutenant governor. I said I'd only sign if he would take back the message that we're still waiting for this home rule petition. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he actually wrote yeah. it down, but I know that didn't mean anything. But. At least you wrote it down. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I don't know where we stand there. Uh, I, well, but as I, as, as I've, um, you know, we have the, uh, we have Article Eleven. Is we have a, we have the, uh, I've submitted the slides. Um, 
if any of you caught the FinCon meeting, it's basically the same thing minus the, you know, minus the slide that says, you know, if what we're going to do if it's if the legislature acts, what we're going to do if the legislature doesn't act. Because if I'm if we're getting to the sit down meeting, then the legislature has acted, and that's that's all moved. Um, so it's, it should be a short presentation. Uh, I asked for three minutes. Um, and Article 12 is, I believe, also submitted, although um, although that's not our responsibility. Um, Carrie Lafleur is, is is taking care of that one. Um, so. This we be have, on the consent calendar. Question is that is the moderator likely to put it on the consent calendar and so say, well, this has been passed three times and uh, it's not controversial. I think, um, you know, I'm actually not sure if Article 11 if it would be or not. Um, I think Article 12 actually might. Um, it, 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 you know, it, it, it wasn't controversial last year. It, it, it passed very easily, I think, on the. I, Gosh, was it even on the consent calendar then? Um, I think we actually did vote on it, but uh, yeah, it went it went through th so smoothly that she she might just put it on the consent calendar. So it, there's virtually no chance that wait a minute, Article 11 is is the is our is our larger one. There's a, a virtually yeah. no chance that that'll be coming up. It seems it's unlikely. Weeks away. It, it, it seems very unlikely. Um, yeah, the legislature would have to act next week. Or so, today. So, I mean, it, okay, so that's not going to happen. So, so really, so it's it's a more likely uh, Ryan's point that this will be on the consent calendar, yeah. um, and it'll be Article Twelve, right? I, I think that's I think that's a, I think that's by far the most likely outcome. Um, okay. I mean, it, it, it is always you know the legislature does weird things. Right? Sometimes they'll sometimes they'll they'll just decide, oh gosh, today we're going to do this whole bunch of things, and then then okay, just get them out of the way, they're done, and and and, and then move along. So you know, you never know. You never know. But if they haven't acted, then there's no presentation to be made. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's right. There's there's no um, well. There's certainly no Article 11 presentation to be made if they haven't acted. We, yeah. I don't, right. we, we cannot we cannot move it. Um, the uh, I, it occurred to me uh, just thinking about this. I don't know if it's possible that if they act, let's say next month, the month after. And they actually act on all of the home rule petitions, or at least some, or at least more than just ours. Um, that it might, <laughs> it might be worth the town's while to uh, to hold a special town meeting to <laughs> to deal with all of them. Um, but I'm I'm not holding my breath. David, I'm, 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 I, Matt, do you know anything about any of the uh, home rule petitions? Has any but has anything come your way? So I marched with Senator Barrett in the Patriots <laughs> Day Parade, and uh, we did have a brief discussion about it. And he continued to say that he is, you know, hopeful that there will be progress. But up at that point, there hadn't been. Yeah. Okay. You know, I we're we're in short strokes here yeah, <laughs> at this yeah. point i you know i don't expect between now and town meeting that we'll have resolution on this no um, so yeah, yeah that, but, that's where i sit right now yeah what i was saying a, a minute ago was was I, I i didn't know if it was a possibility of of a, of a special town meeting to deal with <laughs> i mean it wouldn't just be this one but yeah there, so uh, we do expect that there will be a special town meeting in the fall uh, at least that's what the Public Works uh, Commission is suggesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there there may be another opportunity at that time. So, if, if, if so, that comes before the uh, if that comes sufficiently before the uh, uh, before the, the assessors have to set the tax rate, um, or actually, by like, technically, it would probably the, be October ish. Yeah, and that's if, still if, a rough a rough guess at this point. If we have a yeah, town meeting in October, probably would not be in time. I think the tax are going to be set by then. Um, oh, well. I think that the, the key thing is to, to sort of get the message to the moderator that, that this committee is comfortable with the idea of this being on the consent calendar. She's not going to yes. get a fight. And she wants to do everything she can to try to get everything done on Sunday, which I fundamentally disagree with because the purpose of town meeting is not to end quickly but to do the business of the town but anyway that's another bit 
but what I'm saying. <laughs> so I don't expect we'll be done on Sunday. Sunday. I, I really don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think the moderator really expects to finish on Sunday either. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I have I have another hat to wear at town meeting, and and I'm fully expecting to be there on Monday as well, at least. But uh, yeah. Um, Okay. The, the debate is, that's going on is whether or not we'll be able to finish on Monday. That's the debate that's <laughs> happening. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so we have, uh, so as I was saying, we have a motion on Article 11. I um, believe we had, there's a motion on Article 12 as well. Um, and that will be, uh, that will be carried to the floors if, if, if that, if that, if that has to be if that has to be presented, um, that will be hers to present. Um, and I wanted to. What I did think we ought to do, though, is we should probably take a couple of votes. Um, uh, I mean, first of all, uh, uh, again on the on the on the on the extremely slim chance that Article Eleven actually can be moved, um, we should have taken a vote on it uh, to to move it, and um, and we should have an, and we should have a position on Article Twelve in case the uh, question comes up. I mean, if it goes on the consent calendar, then it won't be an issue, but. Yeah, I don't think you need a statement on article. Isn't article 12 your article or is it ours? It's that, oh, it's, it's, the, it's finance. Okay, never mind. Um, also, I did prepare a statement on article 11 on behalf of the select board. So we do have that. Um, if, if it ever comes to pass, which it probably won't. Anyway, I thought I thought we'd just take a quick uh, if 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 uh, I mean I, I mean I'm assuming that we're <laughs> obviously we want I, I, we want to move Article 11. Um, no, no, we, we wouldn't make a statement about it. Obviously, if it if it can't be moved, but if it can be moved, then we'd like to say that we all. I think we'd like to say that that we. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd like to be able to say, and and the committee has 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 moved this unanimously, um, and if. And if Article Twelve again also is not on this gets moved, but is not on the consent calendar, I'd like to be able to stand up and say in a couple of words that you know, you know, the committee has you know unanimously, unanimously supports this. Article. Yeah, though it is scheduled to be on the consent calendar. Yeah. So I, exactly. So th these these are very much um, I, uh, I kind of um, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, I, Minor preventative measures, <laughs> or not preventative, but you know what I mean. Um, and pro forma stuff. Pro, pro forma, just just the, 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 just the, just the, just in case the, the you know of, of, of somebody taking the, yanking this off the consent calendar, whatever the you know whatever. Proactive. Happens. Yeah, proactive. Yeah, you know, that's just the some, something. Yeah, exactly. Um, not expecting to actually say anything, but just in case, I'll have something to say. So, um, if I can have a motion on Article Eleven. How do you want to frame the uh, motion? Oh, uh, that, that the that the oh um. Well, you know, I don't know how it how a committee <laughs> words its support for its own article, but I I think support is 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 probably the right word, um, or it has voted unanimously to move this article. It's simple to that. Just say that the committee recommends affirmative action on Article Eleven. That is that is you know those are exactly the words. <laughs> And for both of them, actually, that, that will I that second will that motion. Okay, thank you, Brian. Um, okay, so um, Walter, aye, aye, for me, uh, Ryan, that's an aye. Okay, Jay, aye, Rana, aye, and Bill, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let the minute show it was unanimous. Um, and uh, if I can have an emotion on Article 12, same as before, but with 12, I guess. He recommends affirmative action on Article 12. Thank you, Ryan. I second that motion. Thank you, Walter. Okay, uh, let's take a vote. Walter. Aye. I vote aye. Ryan. Aye. Jay. Aye. Verana. Aye. Bill. Aye. Okay, the minutes can show that that was unanimous. All right, and we can proceed finally. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do for town meeting. Um, it's it's it, I mean it's that's pretty much I I I mean Carmen has has 
<laughs> has said that even you know, as it is, my, my slide's very placeholder. And if something happens, something will happen. But <coughs> um, OK, next on, I had a report on the, I did, um, I think I mentioned at the last meeting, I think that was in the minutes that I was going to uh, meet with somebody from the Mass Municipal Association. It was, um, uh, uh, oh gosh, and now, unfortunately, I didn't write down her, um, her exact position. Um, some kind of outreach. Uh, her name was Jackie Lavender Bird. Um, and we had uh, Terry Ackerman and Carolyn D and Rick Scanlon in the same meeting. Uh, Rick Scanlon is our uh, interim assessor. Um, so the, uh, yes, yeah, so, so we, we talked about, um, about what the Mass Municipal Association is doing and what we're doing. And I, I think, um, I guess the, the, the main takeaway was the, from the, well, <laughs> two things. One thing MMA is, is a fairly, um, uh, uh, they're not, I think, into radical um, uh, changes. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and, and the, uh, and they, they also had, a, I, I think the, well, the first concern and I have, this is from my notes that, you know, the, the one size all option doesn't, doesn't work. So it being a local option is okay because then you don't, you know, you can choose whether to take it on or not. Um, and there are in fact, um, several towns, uh, Melrose and Wakefield that have petitions in for, um, for some changes and uh, Reading and Wake, Wakefield already has something there, I think updating what they have um, and Reading already has something. I already has something as in some sort of local option. Some sort yeah. of local option, yeah. yeah. And, and, this, and this is of course in addition to Sudbury which we know about. Um, I, think these are, I think these are more uh, recent things. I'm not sure exactly what the nature of them is. What does Sudbury have? Sudbury, Sudbury has, has Sudbury has what we have. Yeah. Uh, and oh, we, have got, oh. we, we modeled our original. That, sorry, I was thinking it was. Um, yeah, I, I think there's what the goal, the other local option goal was. And I was like, yeah, those, and, 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 and yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't yeah. know what, what, what those are. Um, that is something that we could investigate. Um, but the uh, yeah, the, the Sudbury is, is ours, except that the their um, the threshold on the house value is calculated differently. Um, the um, I think one of the one of the um, one of the objections that some communities seemed likely to raise is that. If you have a community where you have, you know, uh, lots of young people moving in, um, and they're looking at this thing and saying, "Yeah, but well, this tax is being shifted onto us because because you know these are the longtime residents are paying less," um, then that that creates some some friction. And I I would point out I would have pointed out that 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 we're we're shifting like a quarter. You know, I, I, I mean, we pay two cents on our. On our um, on the thousand on a thousand dollars for this program, um, it's it's a it's a quarter of a percent shift or something like that um, at the moment anyway. And uh, I'm going to say, kind of, as the young person in this committee, like Concord isn't accessible to <laughs> yeah, it's it's young it, people it, anyway. It, it, this, this is this is yeah I, mean, I exactly no I I absolutely agree this isn't this is when you come to town like this, that that is that is not what's going to keep people out it, it, it it's 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 yeah. not find a house you can afford yeah um, well, we got very fortunate and very lucky and it was the start of the pandemic and no one was looking for houses <laughs> not, there's no way we could move here now <laughs> yeah no it, it's um no it, no I, I I absolutely agree this is this is this. Uh, and and that's and that's and that's part of the one size fits all thing. We we have we have pro we have affordability problems here that are very different from from what a lot of other towns in the Commonwealth have. Senator Barrett raised the issue when we were first talking about this that uh, he felt that Sudbury was doing it because they were trying to keep uh, families of, with children out of the town so the, the schools wouldn't have to go up. And so he was actually opposed to our original 
proposal that went through and we had we had to jump through some hoops if you remember to convince him and it was true that that never was part of our discussion it never occurred to any of us that that was a rationale for doing it and finally when he looked at the amazement on our faces he came to realize that this was not an attempt to keep school-age children out of uh, out of uh, Concord, but it took some it took some selling. If you those of you who were at that original meeting, if you remember that, a while. Well, I don't know. I mean, we, I mean, we do have the. Uh, I mean, and we have talked about the age restriction, which which I, I don't think is particularly dear to this committee. Um, and but we, we 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 inherited that from Sudbury. Um. But the uh, uh, yeah yeah but there 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 are they are um, so actually so so an interesting point they brought up was the um, uh, the motor vehicle um, excise actually is 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 another regressive tax because you know if you go out in a lot of <laughs> well not not I mean there are there are places in the, where you, I mean, if you go in if I think if you live in the uh, well into the inner suburbs or, or Boston itself, you might be able to get it by without a car, but um, most places you live, people are dependent on a car to get to work. And the, uh, uh, it, it's, it's, that's a regressive tax because, <laughs> because your cars cost as much. So, there, so, there, so there's some uh, thought of looking to that, I think. Um, and, uh, oh, and apparently, apparently there's some, uh, there's something in the works to um, to increase the circuit breaker. Oh, which would help a lot of people. But uh, that's that's all the news I have from that. Um, it doesn't sound like we're particularly. Um, uh, does not sound like we're like does not, does it, it, it didn't sound like we, we got a particularly enthusiastic off, uh, audience for 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 taking our ideas statewide here. Um, sorry to say, <laughs> but um, uh, not 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 hostile either. But um, is this the the point to talk about uh, Kaufman's uh, note? Yes, I think it is. Um, that I I was thinking of bringing that up next. Well, at some point, if you give me the floor, I've got a rant all ready to go. Uh, rant away, rant away. It's 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 time. It just seems absolutely clear that that there is a complete lack of gonadal fortitude on uh, on uh, Beacon Hill for anything that has the name tax attached to it, and um, and this is also shared by by lawyers. Uh, who want to talk about what you can and can't do. The, uh, the claim that you, know, you, you can't do anything locally, for example, or that the, that the Constitution provides as a little quote that, that Jay gave us, which is the earliest quote that said, any tax levied by the great general court shall be the same on the same class of property throughout the state. Uh, but in point of fact, uh, there's local option meals tax, there's local option occupancy tax. Um, and, and we had to vote, uh, in fact, to apply the meals tax and uh, the occupancy tax to hotel rooms in, in Concord. Uh, and if another town doesn't have that occupancy tax, then uh, they don't, if they didn't vote for it, they don't have it. So in, in fact, this is, uh, something which uh, nobody seems to examine uh, <coughs> clearly. Um, it seems really clear that, that um, uh, if you actually read the Constitution, it says any tax levied by the great and general court. I have not found a place in the Constitution that says only the great and general court has the power to tax. Okay, now this is, but nobody wants to go there. Uh, and maybe I'm just flat out wrong uh, in terms of my interpretation. Um, whenever this issue has been raised uh, uh, to members of, of the great and general court, they, they just run away from it. Uh, and, and it was clear that, that even when Corey Atkins was there and supposedly friendly, um, she basically said she put it in, but with her, she was holding her nose at the time, even on, on what we had. So 
uh, I'm too old to take on the, the business of getting this slight amendment to the constitution, which as a practical matter has been done for all these other taxis. Um, but uh, we have, there are constitutional conventions in the state every couple of years. And, and uh, this is something which other states do and which has major beneficial effects to get a shifted off pure dependence on property tax um, for running cities in town. So I think that, uh, uh, we got to get people with dark hair or lots of hair and uh, uh, give them, uh, see if they can be interested in it. I'm not sure we can. Um, it would be a, a challenge to put together. Uh, you have to create something like a, a Citizens for Fair Taxation. But there's a one kitchen on the North Shore, which I understand is, is the anti-tax headquarters of the state. Uh, and uh, that seems to have a lot of influence from one or two people. So I think it could be done. I think it ought to be done. Uh, but where are we going to find enough energy to do it? And for that matter, another, enough gonadal fortitude to take it on. Uh, and, and I don't think we're going to find it in our existing state representatives or senators. Sad to say, but... Uh, there it is. That's my rant. Uh, thank you, David, for letting me say it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think it's, well, uh, and Farhana, you notice I did use the phrase gonadal fortitude, which was an, you know, an all-inclusive phrase, okay? I had never heard that phrase before, and it was a hoot. Great. What a Friday morning. <laughs> We made it cojones, I suppose. Then it would only be it would still be male, even if Spanish. So. I understand. No worries, right? I I understand the uh, the intent behind the message. Well, in some ways, your rant um, brings us to the whole question of the future of this committee. Um, uh, uh, if if uh, judging by what Jay had to say, if, uh, uh, if there really is almost no chance of, of pushing a low lid through, then I don't see much point in us banging our head against a wall, uh, although I'm completely and utterly in favor of it. Um, so I'm not quite sure where we go. In favor of banging the head against the wall? or No, the... uh, thank you. <laughs> As an old English teacher, I should know better than that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm in favor of Lola. I'm, I'm, I'm not self-destructive, though, by nature. <laughs> no. did, did not one member of the committee that we have now still have a copy of the, the brochure that I made? Uh, that was um, what I got to see when I had coffee with Nancy. Nancy. So no. it, it is in her uh, paperwork, um, I'm sure, if, if we... Um, at what point? She, well, there takes, is some on Nancy in Nancy's files. <laughs> well, I, was, I do think it would actually constitute. You'd have to have a new committee. I think you're right, Ryan, and I think Walter, you're right as well. And I and I think it would need the it would need the uh, approval of the of the select board, if not town meeting, to go after uh, a constitutional amendment for a local uh, option income tax. So I think it'd be a whole. It, I think you're right. It does call into question as to uh, whether we should continue going further i think that's correct well i was yeah. 10 years younger when we started doing it you know i yeah. was full of piss and vinegar then i'm still handling one or the other of those but <laughs> i feel like having that as like the specific charter yeah right? yeah right it would it would be a completely new charter yeah well maybe our original charter it would or be the, well, it, actually that's true it would be it would be the it would be it would be the re uh yeah the reincarnation of the original Oli. jay probably remembers mm -hmm. well it goes back a long way <laughs> and, and, and 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 unless they really changed what was that that, that section 20 that uh, 
have to be modified. If it was modified, then what we originally proposed, which was really major changes, um, and the likelihood of that 20 being changed, it looks rather slim. <clears throat> Yeah. Town meeting blessed it twice, I think, way back when. So, um, Matt, I, it, Matt, I'll address this to you. It sounds like the committee is wondering whether we have a future and whether perhaps that should be discussed with the, with the uh, select board. Yeah, I mean, one thing, to, you could probably go even further than that if you wished, which was that you know you could take a, a vote you know requesting the select board to disband uh, the committee and then we could deliberate upon that within the select board i don't believe that we would be able to add it to our agenda for next monday but we would for the probably the first meeting after town meeting which is may 9th is is when I would expect that we would do this, and I, I you know, it'd be before your next scheduled meeting. Um, you know, I I just want to weigh in here just as the liaison, and again, not speaking for the board. It it is the board's pleasure whether we uh, end up you know disbanding uh, the committee, but I I would say it, it seems clear that there is a you know very difficult path forward. That while I think there is also ample reason to continue to pursue this effort. It perhaps is best done through more grassroots or outside of the town government types of initiatives. And, and at such point at which there would be something really concrete that is, you know, we could pursue, then perhaps we could reform a committee around that charter, right? Uh, it, it, it doesn't seem feasible or, or productive uh, at this point to me to be continuing to meet on a you know monthly basis and discussing kind of the futility of the current circumstances. Um, I, I And it does seem like we do have uh, strong support in the town for, you know, continuing to administer the program that we, we have, however we can. Um, and it is benefiting some people. And, and so, you know, we can at least uh, take solace in, in that. Um, and so, you know, I also want to think about just the talent that's on this call and just say we have many openings on town boards and committees as we speak. Uh, and, you know, I would love to see this talent deployed uh, to help the town achieve its its other goals. Um, so uh, please look over uh, that list of openings that pu that's published on our um, our board packet, uh, you know, and uh, let's just say that you've pretty much got carte blanche. Uh, so, you know, uh, think about that as well. Would, one question that I have, um, if, if the, right, if the community does disband, um, I know when I first joined, the idea was that the committee was going to kind of just like stick it out until uh, the current um, articles pass through legislation. Seeing as that I think it's taking longer than everyone expected from when I first joined, uh, is that still, would that still be kind of the goal? Well, or so would the select be kind board, of an ad hoc regroup when? when yeah, so, so the select board has a number of, uh, you know, petitions in front of the general court right now uh, on, you know, so many different topics and all of them are other than new liquor licenses have been stalled. Um, so uh, we will continue to advocate with, you know, our state representatives uh, for the town's objectives. So, I mean, that's out there. It's not going away. We will continue to pursue that. So I, I think that there's not a need for a, a dedicated committee just for that purpose. I, 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 agree. I, feel... I would agree because also I assume um, town, we will continue to uh, pursue, every year pursue article the version of Article 12 yeah. uh, that we will pay for it ourselves if, if, the if the Commonwealth doesn't make any move. That's not going away. Yeah. yeah. So that uh, we, you know, and, and you all have given us a pattern and a, a structure and, you know, yeah. voters have always supported it. So I don't see a problem. 
I, I, I felt two years ago when we were, well, it was more than two, not quite two years ago, mm -hmm. a, a year and, and, and a bit ago, before the, <laughs> before the previous town meeting, when we were actually refining the, um, yeah, refining our final article for submission. Um, at that point, I felt that we were actually doing some useful work because we because we were we were streamlined you know we we were able to streamline certain provisions and so forth and 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 uh, and, and and unwind some of the of, of the language a little bit, but yeah, you know, at this at this point, it's just it's just a it's just an up down thing. Um, it, it goes through eventually. We hope. And it's just a matter of of how long we wait. But what's what's clarifying, what's become clear in this discussion is essentially that our work is done. Yeah. Uh, as this committee was was constituted, and, and as much as I love you all, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it may make more sense to disband and and uh, and uh, each of us in our in his or her own way uh, find a new path. I'm with you. Me too. So, yeah, David, I mean, should I, you make a motion to? Uh, can we have make a motion to disband the committee? I, I think to recommend, I believe. I think that we would right. then do it, do the action in select board. Yeah, I, 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 think, I, think I think we recommend. have. I think we have come up to that to that. Well, okay. So I had a I had a public comment um, um, item on the agenda before we got to that point. In case anyone from the public showed up and wanted to comment, I thought <laughs> that might be a good time for the weigh in. Um, but uh, uh, I think uh, we're ready, since seeing it's just us here, I think we're ready to go on to item seven, which is a decision and making a statement to the select board. And that would be our statement. So I, would I will make a motion to recommend to the select board that the committee uh, uh, be disbanded. Is that the right way? Okay, that's fine. Right. I would second that. Okay, do we need to add any, um, Matt, do you think we need to add any? Uh, I think that that's effect? fine. You know, it's a recommendation. I don't <laughs> think we need any uh, formalized yeah. language. Yeah. That's okay. Very I, mean, clear. I, I mean, we can, if, if any, if, I mean, if anyone on the, uh, on the, on the board wants to know our thinking behind it, then I think that would be, a, a, we'd be able to, to offer the, the, those thoughts that we've already expressed. Um, but we don't have to move. We don't have to actually move them, right? Okay. So, um, okay. So we have a proper motion on the on the floor. And um, any further discussion? Okay. Well, then um, down the roll call again. Walter. Aye. Okay. I vote aye. Ryan. Aye. Jay. Aye. Piranha. Is that an aye? Aye. Yes, and Bill. Aye. Okay, so that's unanimous. Um, I feel a little bit sad, but um, on the other hand, uh, you know, there will be there will be other things ahead. And I suggest that we take all the money remaining in the committee's budget and have a hell of a party. Folks <laughs> <laughs> okay. are up for it. After we sit, can we do a. Uh... If we're disbanded, uh, can we do a coffee so I can meet people? Yes, I think that's if you're comfortable. Yes. Yeah, actually, that's, sure. that's true. If we're, if we're if, once once if, if the select board decides to disband the committee, then then we can we can meet as a group with no strings attached. Right. Absolutely. You, you can meet anyway with no, the only strings attached is to not talk about business. But since you've already recommended the group disband, it would be hard to say that you are violating open meeting law by discussing business. So, so I think you don't need to worry about when. You can just do it. Honestly, right. it's also appropriate that we're ending um, when, when we just lost Nancy, who has been yeah. who had been yeah, stalwart yeah, yeah. for all these yeah. years in the yes. committee. Yes. So um, yeah, yeah, almost as a tribute. Well, let, let's, while we're still in the committee, we're going to charge Farana to come up with a date and, and suggest <laughs> a place and we'll uh, we'll meet for coffee or drinks, okay. whichever whichever we prefer. Good. True. Uh, what would folks prefer? Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Why, why don't you pick? 
and circulate an invitation to us. I, I, I All right, think. that sounds good. I'll take that action. All right. I think, I think given the, given, hopefully if the weather cooperates, uh, an outdoors place would be, might be nice. Mm -hmm. the, the flowers look awful pretty as they're popping out in our gardens here. Ooh. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Are you offering to host or something? Uh, of is course. that what I'm here? Yeah. Nancy All right, Brian, really, talk to him. <laughs> there aren't enough people here looking at the flowers, and I'm just looking out. At, I mean, she she only planted 1,200 tulips, and, <laughs> uh, and, the, and the daffodils all up the driveway are now just coming into blossom. So uh, come on around. What the heck? You know. Sounds all good. Right, well, yeah, I'll send you an email, right? Oh, actually, I don't think I... Well, I have it from the group. From the list, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we can... Yeah, we can... We can uh, Somehow, somehow a range of time. <laughs> and I just want to thank everybody for all of your efforts. It's been really fantastic. So, and go after those volunteer cards. <laughs> Take a look. All right. All right. Well, okay. this is it. It's it huh? probably, time to, probably time to adjourn. Yeah, I don't know. So actually, there's a question. Do we even... Do we even set a next meeting time? Um, no, I wouldn't. Oh. I think you can just adjourn. I don't think there's going to be any pushback from the select board. And uh, yeah, so I, I think so. I think we'll, yeah, okay. In, in in the unlikely event that the select board rejects our recommendation, we, we will we will we can, call we you back into the room. But yeah. <laughs> um, well, here's a, here's one more technical question. Do I need to write up these minutes? Yes. I believe. Oh, <laughs> nice try, Bill. Well, I'll try my I best. I mean, they, you won't be able to vote them. <laughs> Um, oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. but that's I still think it, you know a set, uh, just some indication of that you met and these things were, were decided. I think. Okay. Would, I'll yeah, just, I'll you know, it. really short, short and sweet. Just send it to me. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. That sounds great. All right. Hmm. You can okay, adjourn fine. the meeting, David. I, it is. It, it is it. We are on adjourn. Um, right. So thanks. everyone who who is, uh, votes to adjourn, raise your hands. And it's yeah. it's been very nice working with you all. All right. All right. Bye everyone. Thank all of you. Bye bye. Thank you again.